morning. Uh, you're here with old Barry. Um, I'm having a very enjoyable morning coffee on the deck. It's uh, Sunday, April 5th, 2020, and uh, it's a bit noisy around the house. The uh, chickens are going to be a lot of eggs today, I guess. The dogs are barking. I hear one or two little motorcycles in the distance. So I suppose life's about normal for us. Um, my gosh, I'm going to because so many people have been reaching out and uh, you know we really appreciate that it's it really is uh, it really is humbling I don't know how else to say it but um, my gosh I'm glad all you guys are that at least the subscribers and, and by by by, uh, by standards we're a tiny a tiny group of people I mean I, I don't you know I, and I understand why because um, I'm still waiting for somebody to answer a question about uh, find me one time in history when the masses, the masses of the population were not wrong. And so far it's been going on for a while. And uh, so far no one's come up with one that we couldn't easily prove false. So anyway, um, I'm glad a lot of folks recommended. They, they like the just general conversation, the different uh, fact information that they're not hearing from other folks and other other places and uh, we're going to continue on with that because um, you know we're moving on real soon and we are as, as we do this again pardon the noise from all the chickens we have a lot of chickens and hens at the house and guinea hens and things like that anyway so uh, we're gonna get started all right um, join old Barry here on a coffee while I show off my birthday coffee cup from January 28. I was born in 1958 and it says January 1958. All original parts. And uh, for the most part that's true. I mean sure you know hockey and off-roading and stuff. I lost my fair share of teeth here and there but um, been sewed up more like a pincushion from hockey, I remember. God, I can't even remember how many stitches. But anyway, that's getting off. Anyway, um, first and foremost, a uh, big thanks also is going out to all the folks, and you know who you are, that uh, emailed in or sent me a personal note. Hey, Barry, the last video. Um, you know, coronavirus, and people thought 9-11 was a tragedy yeah I got the video Barry okay and it was all it was great but what am I supposed to look at so we made a boo-boo we forgot to put a link in it so on the previous uh, the last video before this one uh, you're gonna see it now is in the front okay the article is and there's a link below a direct click on www something feels wrong dot com okay uh, I have uh, while the, the things are changing as rapidly as they are and until the mentors and I come up with the proper paths to do our own research so we can guide ourselves and our families the best way, uh, I'm kind of in a limbo mode and a lot of people have been requesting uh, they like a calmer approach. Uh, making sense, we're not all that stressed. I mean, you know, but hell, that's coming from a guy that's probably wore socks three times in the last two decades. But it is what it is. And... Um, a big thanks go out to all the people that caught that for us and took the time. That does give me some information that at least some good folks all are reading this. Um, I know it's a trying time for so, so many, uh, but, you know, the honest truth is we did it to ourselves, and I will not go blaming anybody. I will not go blaming the different religions. I will not go blaming the different politics, uh, the groups, the parties. Um, you know, there is a reason why they call a, you know, a group of monkeys a congress, okay? It is actually not a herd. It's called a congress. I don't think there's a better definition of congress right now. And um, we are moving forward just as soon as I have more information to move forward. But I do want to bring you up some interesting uh, fact, okay? Continuing on. Did you know, and a lot of people don't, uh, did you know that perhaps the most major country that didn't participate in a full lockdown, a full-scale lockdown, was Sweden. Uh, Sweden, being a very uh, 
by history too, they've always been very independent. They're very independent in their thinking for, for a lot of different ways, a lot of different areas. And I admire that about them. But anyway, they decided to not make anything mandatory, but just give advisories to, you know, space yourselves a little better. Uh, if you think it's good, go to work. If you don't, don't. But, but you see, I think what they're doing is something really rare. Um, they're treating people as adults. Okay, now that's rare. That's rare where most people come from. Uh, anyway, old Barry's a numbers guy, and I want to present another different fact to back up the already indisputable evidence if you're thinking unbiasedly and not thinking from fear, from a position of fear. You already know this makes absolutely no sense. There are ulterior motives. Again, we're not denying the flu exists. We're denying we're actually asking the right question, like I pointed out. We're asking, does it warrant a worldwide lockdown? Obviously, it doesn't. Anyway, so I've crunched numbers, and um, I think it was as of, um, I think it was April 2nd or 3rd, whatever, but there were 49 hundred and almost 50 cases, 49, 48 cases in Sweden, of which um, 239 of them where fatality. Now, this is from, again, I told you in a previous uh, thing, now I waited till now, I did answer it to one person who keeps in touch with me from time to time, who tends to have a bit more of an interest, but it's on an outside coming in basis, which is wonderful. Anyway, about what JH was, JH, in a previous post not long ago, J.H., what is J.H.? And I answered it to them. I said I'd release it soon enough at the right time. Now's the right time. J.H. is John Hopkins University. You are, in the very near future, going to start seeing their name coming out in your public medias, your mainstreams. Um, they, they, boy, they were on the take in a huge way, and they definitely tilted the evidence uh, already the uh, people that exposed it all through America and everything are saying, whoa, 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 we based these figures on bad evidence. Well, bad evidence, right. A lot of people make their decisions on bad evidence. Boy, do I run into that a lot. Anyway, uh, you start crunching numbers. It comes from a government-based university, medical university, John Hopkins, that recently took a $1.5 billion dollar donation. 1.5 billion dollar donation. Do you think there might be an ulterior motive to that? Anyway, it came out to 4.83 percent people without a lockdown. 4.83. Now, I want you to start looking I'm going to quote you. I have to uh, actually read this. I'm going to quote you what the Prime Minister of um, Sweden said. Hey, you're back with me. Uh, I just had to cut, uh, cut video for a second. I wanted to re-pull the information up uh, that, I did, uh, that I did receive earlier. And... Um, the question was to uh, the Prime Minister of Sweden, uh, Stefan Lofin. If I mispronounced it, uh, accept apologies, but he probably won't watch it anyway. Uh, Sweden's Prime Minister was asked the question, why is Sweden not on lockdown? So he said, we all as individuals have to take responsibility. Wow, what an original idea. We can't legislate and ban everything. No, only in your country they can do that. It is also a question of common sense. We who are adults need to be exactly that, adults. Not spread panic or rumors. No one is alone in this crisis, but each person has a heavy responsibility. And he went on to warn realistically without fear that the upcoming future months and years uh, do warrant uh, many tough months and years ahead, uh, very possibly. But 
he continues without without dragging this on to say why, and it's exactly why that we're promoting it, uh, the the few so so strongly. It's the economic damage that will be felt, not the numbers or the tremendous out of percentage fatality rate or anything. This coronavirus, and I, I'm almost uh, before I continue on. I wouldn't mind even if you com quote it or put it in a calendar or whatever. This coronavirus will be almost non-mentioned by June. It won't be mentioned. What will be starting to catch on on the public news is the damage it caused to the economy. But for all the people, it's already too late. That's the problem. You get your news, it's not accurate to begin with, and you get it too late. So in any event, uh, continuing on, I just uh, thank you for the sidebar, because I just wanted to actually quote exactly what the Prime Minister of Sweden was saying. Remarkable. First piece of government news that actually makes a bit of sense. Okay, let's continue on. I'm asking you, and I'm going slow. I want people to really take the time because, honestly, your time's running out. You people, the high majority of you, it's not my job to convince you because time, time will tell you what I'm saying is accurate. I don't need to prove it to you. Time will. You've put your faith and trust in the very same group that's robbing you blind. And you continue to do it. You continue to do it. You continue to do it. I don't know. Honestly, if it's a DNA thing, I don't know if it's a fear thing. Well, I do. I just don't want to get into it. But anyway, I want you to look at your country, okay? No lockdown, Sweden. 4.83 fatality rate from the Corona virus. Look at your own country, because I did not take out anything like the obese, heart issues, respiratory issues, what else did I not take out? Diabetes, that's a big one. What about the elderly? Okay, remember, I showed you clear documentation. They didn't tell you that the average age was 82 years old, with 46% having three or more prior illnesses that died from the coronavirus. Okay, so if you really want to be, let's, let's just to favor the side of the ignorant. Let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. There's nobody that could dispute the most um, lenient figure without blowing anything out of proportion, being extra, extra, extra on the conservative side. Would you say 1% is, is really being fair with all the ailments, the obesity? Just look at your own country. Okay, and all those numbers, 1%, I mean, it's a joke. I mean, there's way more than 1% obese, way more than 1% with pre-existing conditions. I'm just being as mild as I can to show you how the numbers, if you get fear out of it, don't make any sense. So you drop it, and we come down to 3.83% in a nation. Don't forget, I mean, I've been out that way, Stockholm. And there's, there's big cities there. There's hustle, there's bustle, there's buses, there's trains, there's everything we know. The only thing that they don't have right now is, of course, the international airports would be uh, basically, um, you know, running suit because that's, that's linked into the transmission like economy. It's with everything else in the world. The gears are meshed. So, okay, the airports would be shut down, I would agree, because there's no place they could land. But you need to look at that figure, okay, and then try to the best of your ability to, to get fear out of it. Uh, I really am happy to see a lot of the younger people also. I received a lot of personal comments and about, um, you know, right on. Uh, it really surprising me how my friends uh, just refuse to see it or they've been taking the attitude that they're entitled to something. Um, hmm. It's, it's, uh, that, that part of it's very humbling and I thank you. Um, I was going to upload an excellent video and when I say excellent you can always attach the words to unbiased, okay, and not from fear from fact. You might as well, every time I say that, just automatically assume if you're 
following along and like people said just very just mention the few little things you come up with because already that's nobody's finding that stuff so this is just tidbits you know I can't I can't go into any other thing until I know what I'm talking about. That's why I hope Barry is never the first one out of the chute. I've covered all this. All these guys that are the first horse or first dog out of the chute in a 10 dog race, a 10 horse race around a track, they're always the ones that peter out after the second turn. Because they're always wrong. I come out a day or two later, people like me that actually take time to peel the onion. The apophatic study. and. While I study, most of the people I know make dinner reservations. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Understand, though, you're right on course for where you're heading. I'm not saying it's wrong, though. I have no right to say what's wrong for anybody else. Okay, but we decided, again, I spoke uh, just with Leanne and John and some other people, the mentors, and no, we're not uploading it. We said we're moving on. Anybody... For those good people that are still that far behind the curve, that are trying to figure out this virus as it being deadly, you still don't see the bodies in the street. You still don't see the military helicopters unloading tons and tons of pallets. You still don't hear the ambulances every 10 seconds running just like a wildfire drill that's out of control. None of it, none of it, none of it. Everything is based on your fear. If that's the thing, we decided we have to move on, so it's up to those people to pick up their pace. Uh, for the last few years, we've been slowing down our pace to try and gather more people, more momentum. Uh, that's not going to happen. So those people need to pick up the pace to gather on with the few that really want to stay ahead of the curve and understand this and realize it is what it is. So um, it's almost, there's an old saying, you know, <laughs> um, we're tired of wasting our fuel. You don't get good fuel efficiency if you're dragging an anchor and you're trying to get somewhere, okay? If you forgot to pick up the anchor and it's still, on, it's still somewhere embedded in the rocks, you're going to burn some fuel, but you're not going to get where you want to go, okay? So we cannot continue to burn fuel for those, and I'm stressing, good people, okay? I don't care what your beliefs, your religions and all. It's all a smokescreen. It's up to you to figure it out. And if you cannot understand this while you sit in lockdown, that you have the time to do it. <laughs> You're in lockdown. I was just playing a trick on words. Anyway, I just presented you with another undeniable fact. A fact that's not based on my opinion, my own religious beliefs, if there are any. My emotional it's based on unbiased fact. And we all need to understand this or there's a lot of people that are going to be un, 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 I'm going to be talking about something soon, but it's about how the planet is constipated. <laughs> I know I talk in metaphors. Everybody says, Barry, you talk in metaphors, but boy, are they clear as a bell, though. Yes, because things are simple. It's we. Well, not so much. I've learned not to, but most people complicate things for themselves. They are that simple. We tend to complicate our own issues. And uh, which again leads us into the one of the four primordial fears, which is fear. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm having fun with this. I, I really feel good that enough people are really listening to the solid advice. They see where the five years have led. They can sense that there's no real stress uh, in our manner uh, and how we've changed. We've got everybody worrying for us because everybody has a need to worry. We don't. We solve and uh, we go with the flow. We're very flexible and we are really looking forward to continuing this. But you're going to see soon enough uh, that the planet's very constipated, okay? and. Uh, it's very difficult to hold feces by its clean end. But anyway, that'll be on a later update because, uh, gosh, people, it's, it's really sad, but it's just nothing more than history. 
repeating itself that so many people are just going to be hoodwinked and lose so much of what they worked for. All we're trying to say, and we've said it, and this is the last time I'm making this bold statement, if any of us on the mentors are wrong, we haven't cost you a penny, peso, kugran, or a Canadian dollar. But if we're right, we may have saved you, your wealth, your fortune, yourself, and your family. Okay, so with a no lose and only to gain by being conservative and ahead of the game, I don't really see where the clear choice is. I see where the fearful or ignorant choice is. Of course, the masses will always take that route. But until that, okay, so we're going to continue on here. Uh, just having a coffee on a Sunday morning. I have no desire to get back to the keyboard right away, and uh, we'll continue on a little bit further, okay?